everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 20th, 2021. Merry Christmas to everyone who celebrates Christmas. So we have this feeling here, it's peacekeeping time, but uh, I feel like a lot of people are not being enablers. And I think that that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. But this is about finding your inner peace. Of course, this is a time to be working with Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Metatron. Have, they've both been coming up quite a bit here. So clear communication, having this intuitive understanding about what's next in your life and on your soul's path and understanding, yeah, I'm hearing what the necessary changes are. What do I need to do to get going in a different way in my life? And so this is a time of rest. It does definitely feel like that, but it's also a time of really good things coming to fruition. So it is a very, very positive time people have a lot of judgment about what good things are right a good thing might mean new rules around um something that keeps children safe or you know um new understanding about something that's been an open problem and now it gets resolved you know that's a very positive thing as well it doesn't necessarily mean that you know you get a million dollars deposited into your bank account i mean that would be nice but if you don't I mean, okay, (laughs) you know, it doesn't always have to look like that. Or something very positive could be, I've come to peace with a certain aspect of my life. We have the lovers that just popped out of the deck. So for those of you who are looking for love, this could be a very, very positive time for that. And really what that feels like is, you know, when we get to know ourselves a little bit better and on a deeper level, uh, now, now we can be more open right? We can be more open. We know what kind of partner we want to draw in, or, you know, maybe you want to start a business and you want a proper business partner who's going to mesh well with you. You know, it's that sort of thing. Good friends. And not just saying you have good friends. I used to grow up around people who would have these cliques. And even when I got into being an adult, there would be all these cliques and everyone would be like, oh my God, she's my bestie. She's my bestie. Well, that person doesn't even care about you and has betrayed you numerous times. So where are you getting (laughs) that they're real trustworthy friends? That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about people who really do care. Uh, They have empathy. They genuinely will be there for you. Okay. All right. Let's get some more cards here. Da, da, da. We have divine guidance. <laughs> I want to say divine intervention. Two of Ariel, balancing too much. And Ace of Michael. Okay, Ace of Michael was coming up last week too. So, forgive my earrings. You'll be hearing those throughout <laughs> the reading here. All right, so let's start with the lovers. We have Archangel Raphael. So again, getting in touch with your heart space, opening your heart, um, being open to something real for once. You know what I mean? Uh, Make choices from your heart, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. So this is making a deeper commitment maybe for some of you to find love and committing to yourself so that you can bring joy and happiness into your world. And again, we'll see here with the, uh, what is that? The two of Ariel, where maybe if you've been focusing too much on career, you've been focusing too much on a project or whatever it might be, this is a wake up call here and saying, no, your life needs to be in more harmony and balance for you to be at peace. Okay. And also remember we as humans in our soul's contract, we often grow and develop through relationships. So there could be something coming up around that. Please keep, keep your energy good. Keep your energy pure. Don't get into fights with people and don't invite people into your world who do want to fight. You know what I mean? who just overreact to everything just so they seem like they're powerful. Learn to be discerning around that and start pulling back. Then we have divine guidance and the number on here is five. The number on the lovers is six and we have five here. Five is the number of change. You're being asked to change, (laughs) okay? Divine guidance, Archangel Sandalfin, the search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach, surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. This is waking up to what's real. Now, Sandalfin is all about balancing the physical with the non-physical, your spiritual self with your physical self, balancing out the chakras, taking your prayers up to heaven. He's known for that. And also being known as the Archangel of Music. So maybe there's something here where you need to use some sound healing 
to even your energy out a little bit so you can have some clarity. As I said before, this felt very much like divine intervention <laughs> coming in with the lover's card. So there could be something like maybe some of you are pushing love out or you're pushing out help in general, okay? And the universe is coming in and saying, no, 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 no. You can't keep doing everything on your own. You're going to have to uh, learn these lessons and come on through. So the search for meaning in life, consider an alternative approach. Maybe you've been listening to the wrong people. This has the feeling where, especially people who like to do like spiritual groups and things like that, it's so easy for there to be a sociopath within <laughs> that group. I'm not kidding. I mean, I'm laughing, but I'm not kidding. Uh, there could be somebody who's just really you know, not, not a very good person who's trying to pose as a good person. So some of you might wake up to this, okay? This could be uh, religious leaders being exposed. I know it's kind of a tough time for uh, at least Christians, right? <laughs> if, if something like that were to occur. But, um, you know, it, it, things need to be revealed. And that's what I'm hearing right now. Things, it's time for things to be revealed. And for us to change who we look up to and who we give our time and attention to. Okay, uh, and then we have two of Ariel. It's important to have balance. Working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. This definitely starts to feel, we gave that example about the lover's card, you know, where maybe you're neglecting your love life uh, or your social life in favor of work, or you're just so focused. Some of you are planning a wedding and you've been so worked up on making sure you have the perfect wedding that you're kind of neglecting your love partner, or maybe you are neglecting work a little bit because you got all your bridal magazines out, right? So this is saying, I, I, I back up here and get some harmony and balance. Again, that's what Sandalfin is all about with the Divine Guidance card, okay? So make sure you're pulling back here. This is a very busy time of year for everybody uh, coming to the end of the year and all of that. Make sure you are taking time to rest, if you feel guilty about taking a day off, I mean, there you go. That, that just shows you that you're out of balance because you're in go mode all the time. Then we have Ace of Michael. So this is going to clear up any communication problems here. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. So again, this is cutting to the truth. So for some of you, this might be a difficult week where a truth comes up. Uh, it could be like hey, I love you, you know, and that's your best friend. And you're like, uh, <laughs> like what? Uh, something is going on here where we've gotten so out of balance. And then there's like a beautiful gift from the universe coming in. We've got the lovers and the ace of Michael. That's big. And divine guidance. I mean, these are huge cards to be showing up in the reading. Okay. So Someone is cutting through the nonsense and they're not having it anymore. Someone is coming forward and it's good news. Um, it could be for some of you, a boss coming to you and saying, hey, I want you to move into this role. And you're like, I don't know if I can do that. Or I, I just feel so over. Be careful with that as an excuse. I feel so overwhelmed. I couldn't possibly take that opportunity. And maybe the boss is going, no, I think you would be really great at this. Don't let fear hold you back. Let's go. You need to believe in yourself more. You know, bosses like that do exist. Believe it or not, I would be one of those bosses. Absolutely. I'd want to see people grow and be happy. All right. So let's see what else we have here. Yeah, it's definitely a time of harmonizing within yourself and um, trying to find balance after a lot of activity. You know, a lot of things might have shown up for you that you had to deal with. Uh... I'm hearing laying health concerns to rest for some people. Okay. Yeah, first quarter moon in Leo, be humble. I'm telling you, this is a time where so many things are breaking open for us that, and so much truth is coming forward and so much clarity and so much, I know how to move forward now. Now that's not going to be everybody, obviously. <laughs> that's what personal readings are for, but you know, this could really find you getting all up in your ego because you, you win something or um, you won that role or you won that book contract or you won some prize for whatever, whatever competition and you win or you get that promotion 
Remember, someone else had to lose out for you to get that, <laughs> okay? So maybe, again, this idea of being humble, it's okay to be happy about your accomplishments, but, you know, someone else is probably not having the best day around it, so just bear that in mind. Or if you end up, you know, getting a love partner that a lot of people were going after and you're like, okay, look at me, don't get on your high horse, I think is what this is saying. Be very careful with that. We get involved in ego and it just crumbles the foundation of whatever we're trying to create. So just be mindful of that, guys. Have a beautiful holiday if you celebrate Christmas. And as always, I'm sending you all so much love and take care.